Welcome to this week's Trade Plates TV news show. To find out more about any of the stories in the show, click on the button in the top corner of the screen. New research has shown that UK dealers could be missing out on as much as £14 billion of used car sales through their websites, as nearly one in three adults bought their last car without using the traditional portals. The online YouGov poll was commissioned last month by Carsnip to investigate how the UK's car buying habits are changing. It found that 30% of people who had previously bought a car said they didn't use the traditional car sites. With more than 7 million used cars in the UK last year, that could mean as many as 2.1 million cars were purchased without using online car search sites such as Autotrader or Motors.co.uk. The Kia Sportage rocketed off the UK's forecourts faster than any other used model in March 2016, according to figures from Autotrader. On average, the 2015 Sportage petrol with manual transmission took just 13 days to sell. And hot on its heels was the 2013 model year Sportage, again in manual and petrol form, which sold in 18 days. In Scotland, the 2015 Vauxhall Mocha has been selling in just under 13 days, and in London, the BMW 5 Series has been selling in 17. Award-winning car supermarket car shop achieved record profits of £5 million before tax in 2015, representing an impressive 113% year-on-year increase. The company has seen strong growth continue in 2016, with sales up for the first quarter of the year by 25%. Retail sales are forecast at around 24,000 vehicles in 2016, which is very favourable compared to 2015's figure of just under 20,500. RAC has announced its new partnership with Motors.co.uk. The arrangement gives dealers access to RAC cars and Motors.co.uk's combined audiences through one relationship. Together, the two businesses' combined advertised stock increases to over 400,000 cars from more than 8,000 dealers. The Advertising Standards Authority has thrown out two complaints about promotional material published by paint protection experts Gardex. The complaints focus on whether the paint protection system would really delay the corrosive effects of bird droppings. In an adjudication published on its website, the ASA said Gardex provided three test reports that examined the performance of painted metal treated with its products, which proved that they did work as stated. Figures just released by the Finance and Leasing Association show that the point-of-sale consumer new car finance market saw new business grow 27% by value and 22% by volume in February compared with the same month last year. The percentage of private new car sales financed by FLA members through the point of sale reached 81.9% in 12 months to February 2016, up from 81.7% in the 12 months to January. The point of sale consumer used car finance market also saw strong growth in February, with new business up 23% by value and 18% by volume. There has been a series of appointments and reshuffles around the industry this week. Mannheim has appointed Sue Myers as Client Relationship Director within its remarketing sales team. She brings with her more than 30 years of motor retail experience. Group Renault UK has announced the appointment of Paul Flanagan as Managing Director and Nick Tame as Sales Director. Flanagan joined Renault from Ford Motor Company where he has worked for more than 25 years in various finance, sales and marketing roles. Nick Tame has worked for the company for 22 years and is promoted to sales director succeeding Darren Payne. Payne has been with Renault Group for more than six years and is now promoted within the Renault-Nissan Alliance to the newly formed position of sales director at Nissan Motor GB. At Black Horse, Tim Smith will lead a new combined motor finance team for the whole of the UK, having previously held the position of head of Motor North. This follows the decision of Paul McGill, head of Motor South, to retire later this year. Nagla Thabit will take over Paul's responsibilities for motorbikes in addition to her existing role as Head of Franchise and Leisure. Snow Suzuki in Paul has been appointed the new franchise dealer for the brand in the town and it's the third Suzuki outlet to open in the county of Dorset. It brings a total number of sales locations in the manufacturer's growing UK network to 154. It'll be operated by the family-owned Snow's Motor Group which has added the Suzuki mark to its portfolio for the first time. A former second-hand car dealer who died last year left £1.5 million to the hospital that treated him for heart disease. Peter Gibbons passed away at the age of 90 last May after suffering with the illness for six years. 
Friends who were executors of his will were said to be shocked by the amount of money he left. Meanwhile, a spokesman for Ipswich Hospital said that this was the biggest donation it had ever received and that thousands of patients would benefit. And with six weeks to go, the car dealer team are delighted to announce that the few final exhibition stands have been snapped up at CDX 16. It means that the stage is well and truly set for the largest automotive expo of its kind in the UK and that more than 100 suppliers will be packing out the exhibition halls at the wing in Silverstone on Tuesday, May 24th. I'll be back again next week with more news. Make sure you subscribe to our channel by clicking on our logo and let us know what you think by tweeting at Tradeplace TV. If you want to get this sent straight to your inbox, click the link above my head now.